Hi, I'm Joy. Welcome to our Simplicity YouTube channel. If you've ever been afraid of sewing with stretch knit fabrics, this is the video for you. I'm going to show you everything that you need to know about sewing with those stretch fabrics. So let's get started. A knit fabric is a fabric that's actually looped together to form the fabric, just like knitting, just like a sweater. And a woven fabric is two lengths of even threads that are, that are woven together in and out. So when you're working with a fabric like a knit fabric, if you pull it apart, you can see up close those little tiny knits. They're absolutely itty bitty, but it makes this fabric different from a woven fabric. When you're shopping for knit fabrics, don't be afraid to pull on the knits in the store. You want to look for how does the fabric stretch. There are two different ways for the fabric to stretch. You can stretch it along the selvage and then along the cut edge. So give it a pull and you'll notice that some pull more than others in both directions. So you're looking for how does it stretch in each direction and how will that work with my pattern. Simplicity patterns are very helpful in sewing with knits. On the back of the pattern, you'll find the pick and knit rule. It's right here across the top of the envelope. This will show you how much stretch your fabric needs to have in order to make the garment in the envelope. It'll also show you which edge you need to test that stretch on from your fabric. So let me show you what that means. When you're working with your fabric, the fabric has a selvage edge. This is the edge that's the manufacturer's edge. It's the one that has a, a binding on the edge or you'll have some some stitches down here already. And then you also have the edge that is the one that's cut in the fabric store. So when you're looking for your stretch, how much stretch the fabric has, you're looking at your pattern to see which edge you're measuring that stretch from. So when I work with the knits that have to have the most stretch, I'm looking to measure that off of the salvage edge, that manufacturer's edge. So if I look at this one right here, and I look for the selvage edge, and I pull it against my pattern, I'm gonna look to make sure that it's stretching pretty much 50% of the way. And then I wanna see that bounce back, how much of that recovers in its memory. And if you have this great amount of stretch, it probably means that your fabric has some spandex or elastic in it, which allows for that great stretch. Other fabrics won't stretch quite as much so when you look at that rule on the back of your pattern, you're looking for how much stretch you need and which side you're testing off of. So this one, I'm testing off of where they cut it at the fabric store, and I want to see how much stretch and recovery I need for those patterns. So check the back of your pattern, check to make sure that you're checking your stretch off the right edge of the fabric, and you'll be on your way to sewing with knits. Your next choice is your threads. The threads are really important. You want to look for a thread that's 100% polyester. This is going to move through your fabric very nicely as opposed to a cotton thread. If your thread isn't marked 100% polyester and you're not sure if you have a cotton or a polyester thread, look for how much fuzz is on the thread. If there's a lot of fuzz on the thread, it probably means it's a cotton thread and it's not going to sew as nicely on a stretch knit fabric. So go for the polyester and that will help in all of your sewing. When you're working with knits, you wanna use a dull pointed pin and needle. So for your machine, you wanna look for needles that are marked for a jersey or marked for a stretch. The idea is that you want the needle to go down through the fibers of the fabric instead of puncturing or tearing the fabric on its way. Also look for ball tipped pins so that those will go through your fabric just as nicely. So in this instance, sharp is not better, a ball tip is better. When you're sewing with stretch fabric, it's important that you're choosing the right stitch to use. As you're working with your machine, look in your owner's manual and see what your, what your stitch options are. You wanna look for those stretch stitches. I'm gonna show you why a straight stitch is not a great choice when you're working with your stretch fabrics. So I'm gonna put this one in and just sew with a straight stitch. Now that I have that stitched, I'm going to show you why this isn't a good choice. When you're working with these stitches, you want the stitches to be able to work with your fabric. So as soon as I go ahead and stretch my fabric, which is what I want it to do, those stitches are going to pop and break. 
So I want to go and make a different choice. Now I'm going to choose a zigzag stitch. On my machine, I choose it by pressing this number. Once I have my, my stitch, then I can play around with it a little bit. I want a short, narrow zigzag stitch for, sew for sewing with my stretch fabrics. So I'm going to make this a thinner stitch, and then I'm going to shorten the stitch just a little bit. And I think this is what I want to use. I'm going to put in my fabric and go ahead and sew. A short, narrow stitch will take a little bit longer to stitch with, but it has that great stretch and the threads won't pop once I've got my seam in place. So play with your sewing machine, play with your, just, your different stitch options, play with your width and your length of the stitch, and look for a zigzag stitch that works. Now, if you have a machine like I do, you might have a, a stretch stitch option, which is a great option to play around with and really to use primarily. So I'm going to go ahead and cut off this piece that we just stitched with and show you how my machine works with a stretch stitch. It's a little bit different. It'll help move with the, with the fabric. As I'm working with this stitch, I want to pull my fabric just a little bit as it goes through the machine. So I'm going to go ahead and make my choice. And my length and my width are already just right for my fabric. I can also adjust a little bit here if I want to, the amount of pressure that the top foot puts on my fabric. If your fabric is puckering a little bit, you can release that pressure just a bit and that will help the fabric go through the machine. As I'm sewing this stitch, I'm pulling a little tiny bit against the presser foot so that I get a nice clean seam. And that makes a beautiful stitch on our stretch fabrics and it looks nicely on both sides and it'll work with the performance that I need. So look at your machine and look at your stitches. Remember to go back to your manual and look at what your choices are and make some good choices and practice on your scrap fabrics. So now that you know how to work with your knits, it's, an, it's easy choices that you have in front of you. Look for the knit you like Consult your pattern because how you choose that stretch matters. Look for the fabrics that are suggested on the pattern. The simplicity pattern will not only tell you some suggestions of fabrics, but it'll also tell you how much stretch your fabric needs and which way to measure that stretch for the right drape of the garment on your body. Once you have that, you need to choose the right sewing machine needle, the right pins, get the right thread, choose the right stitch to work with the fabrics that you're working with, and you will love sewing with knits. So make sure to click on the links below for all the supplies and the materials that you needed and what we used in this video. And then use the comments section to let me know what you'd like to see from Simplicity Patterns. We want to make more videos for you. Thanks and happy sewing.